So now you might be a little surprised as to what do you mean by this bar concept, right? Let me explain it to you. Suppose there are two numbers for which you need to find out the square root. Let us say the first one is mm, 256 and the second one is, let us say, what other number do we take? Okay, let me first do this 256 and then we will understand the other number. Or let me say the other number is 1296. Now, how do you find out the square root using bar concept? The method is simple. In first step, you divide these two numbers, whichever is the number, into pair of two each. So here basically, you have only one, two, three digits. Here you have one, two, three, four digits. So you move from this direction to this direction and make pairs. So if I were to move from here to here, the first pair I will get is 56 and the second I get is 2. It's only a single number right now in this particular case is there a number by which if I multiply this so the first pair is this the second pair is this. I need to find a number which if multiplied by itself will give me a number which is either equal to or less than 2 equal to or less than 2. Now is there some number? And this number has to be a prime number. So it is only 1. When I multiply 1 by 1, this gives me 1. What I do here is, I subtract this number from 2. So 2 minus 1, I get what? I get 1 here, right? And then I get this next pair. The pair has to come down here. So basically what I did was, I found a number which when multiplied by itself gives me a number which is less than or equal to 2, which is only 1 in this case, because 2 by 2 would have given me 4. So I took 1 by 1. And I have subtracted this one from this two. I got one here. And then I brought down the next pair. Then what you do is you multiply this number by two. You have to double this number and get it here. Right? Now I need to find out another number which has to come here. Let me just change the color. This number has to come here and it has to come here. So which is a number which when put in here and here will give me something which is equal to or less than 156. So let me try it here. If suppose I put 5 here. So 25 into 5 gives me 125. But this is too far. So should I take 6? 26 into 6. 6 times 6 is 36, 3, 6 times 2 is 12, and 3 it gives me 156. So I put in 6 here and 6 here. Because 6 times 26 gives me 156, my remainder comes to 0. So therefore, the square root of 256 is 16. I know this is a bit confusing. But let me just take you through the steps once again. The first step was, I start pairing from the units place into 2. So I clubbed 56, I went to 2, unfortunately it was the single digit, so it remains as it is. Then I start my division, I use 1, and the objective is to find a number which when multiplied by itself gives equal to or less than 2. So 1 multiplied by 1 gave me minus 1, 
I subtracted minus 1 from 2, I got 1 here, right? I brought down this 56 here. Then I multiply this number, whatever it is, by 2. I took it here. In the units place, I need to put in a number which, when multiplied by itself, gives me a number which is less than or equal to 156. When I put in 6 here, I got 156 itself. So my quotient, which is 1 and 6, becomes the square root of this number. Let me do this with 1, 2, 9, 6. Step 1, make pairs of 2. Okay, here we have it. Step 2, I find out a number which when multiplied by itself gives me less than or equal to 12. So 3 times 3 gives me 9 and 4 times 4 gives me 16. Now, because 16 is more than 12, so I have to use 3 here. 3 times 3 gives me 9. I subtract 9 from 12. I get 3 here. I brought down the next pair. Again, 3. I multiply this 3 by 2. So, I get 6. Now, I need to find a number which comes here and here and gives me 396. So, by experience, if I use 5 here, 65 times 5, now that, how much is that? 65 times 5, 325. Now, 325 is less than this number. So, should I try the next one? 66 into 6. By doing this multiplication, I realize that if I put 6 here and here, I would get 396 and my remainder comes to 0. So therefore 6 comes here. Now 36 is then the square root of 1296. So this was basically the use of bar numbers to kind of find out the square root for numbers which are higher. The beauty of this thing is that at any given point in time you would never have more than three digits to deal with. So suppose if this was 1, 2, 9, 6, 8, 4, 6, 0, 3, 2. If suppose you have to find out a square root of this number, then you will go mad if you start using factorization. However, by using this method, you can easily do it. And every time the trick is simple, you find out this number which when multiplied by itself gives you a number less than or equal to this. Then you kind of double, keep on doubling this number. So suppose if this was 84 here, you would have multiplied this by 2. I mean, it's not the case here because in any case we have kind of completed the factorization here. But that's how you deal with such situations. There has to be a remainder here before you kind of use that number.